for the heavens I'm aiming Out here gaming Why y'all out here ball or shaming Never change and let it do what it do you're an up-and-coming rapper at a photo shoot for your upcoming album on a major label. You are in the big leagues now. You had the summer on Smash and the streets on lock with your mixtapes. You are signed to the iconic Def Jam recordings, which at the time housed LL Cool J, Method Man, Kanye West, and Jay-Z, along with many other platinum artists. The label set up your photo shoot which have you posing with a backdrop of two million in cash. You're be, you being a successful hustler from the streets was horrified when you found out the money in the backdrop was fake. It was prop money, which is music and movie industry standard, but not yours. You quickly called up your crew and they assembled to the photo shoot in less than 30 minutes with 1.8 million in cash and duffel bags. You then go to your car to grab 200,000 cash to make it a cold 2 million. Label reps will rotate the prop money for real, for the real cash. This will be the cover for your major label debut. Young Jeezy, let's get it, Thug Motivation 101. Jeezy would say, I can't talk about Thug Motivation when I have prop money and boxes in the background. Everything gotta be authentic. By the way... The money on the cover is barely noticeable. However, when you are young Jeezy, it does not matter what is visible to you. It is visible to him. And being authentic and realness, that's why us here at Grind Gazette are talking about him today. Jeezy was born J. Wayne Jenkins in Columbia, South Carolina. Had a strict Marine father and a loving mother early on. Things with his parents didn't work out. So his father dropped his mom, young Jay, and his little sister in Georgia with his mother's family. Here, young Jay quickly noticed his cousins and uncles selling drugs and realized those who want the finer things engaged in that activity. Little Jay would watch his uncles and cousins one by one go to jail, but that didn't stop him from getting into the drug trade. When he should have been getting into action figures, he was getting into action on the streets. Jay became a middle school dropout and hustled during school hours. Living with his grandmother and his mother in a trailer park back and forth. One night during an argument with his mom in the trailer park, his mom pulled a gun on him and told him to get out her house. Little Jay would then move in with his grandmother full time and trap away the pain. That pain would even get more powerful when after serving nine months in a boot camp for troubled teens, he returned to his trap house to find his mom in there smoking crack. With visions of his mom being served crack by his friends, young Jay would tap in with his newfound friend Demetrius King Ellerby, who he met at the camp, and they would discuss starting a record label and getting off the porch and leaving the streets alone for good. At this time, little Jay would become young Jeezy. He had no desire to be a rapper. Actually, he wasn't going by Jeezy just yet. He was still going by little Jay. He started a label called Young Guns, which would later be changed to CTE, Corporate Thugs Entertainment. With one of his artists getting killed and the star of his label getting life for another murder, Little J took matters in his own hand and also became a rapper. He released Thuggin' Under the Influence and used his street money to get local stars like Little John on his album. In 2003, with the name change, Little J to Young Jeezy now, he released Come Shop With Me. This album has some of his songs from Thuggin' Under the Influence, with some new songs. However, when Jeezy released the juggernaut mixtapes The Streets Is Watching and Trap or Die, he got nationwide fame, which was unheard of back then for a mixtape. This started all the labels with the bid and war to obtain young Jeezy. Jeezy the Snowman, one of his aliases, would choose Def Jam recordings. He then did the unthinkable and in his contract had wiggle room to sign with Puff Daddy and Bad Boy Records with a group, Boys in the Hood, while still being signed as a solo artist with Dev Jam. Jeezy then wasted no time kicking down the door with his Dev Jam release, Let's Get It, Thug Motivation 101, which took trap rap not only nationally, but globally. The guys in the street really related to young Jeezy. Eerily, in this video, Air Forces, it features like 20 of Jeezy's friends alongside him. All of them are either dead or incarcerated but one. Young Jeezy in his young career, career still had to learn corporate business. 
he still had duffel bags full of cash. So when he would get six figure checks, he would just stash them. And not stash as in, in the bank, but in drawers and old Jordan boxes. The snowman had no idea checks expired until he had to call a label exec and tell him to rewrite a few six digit checks that had expired. Young Jeezy had been done with the street business for decades now, with feds unsuccessfully trying to link him and CTE to BMF. That's not to say his past hasn't affected some of his plans. He was invited to a dinner with then President Obama, who was delighted that Jeezy had written a song with Jay-Z titled, My President is Black. However, the president's secret servant wasn't letting the ex-D-boy get a table. They told Jeezy his past is too extensive, and that he was still under investigation. Well, Jeezy ain't worried about them. His hands have been clean managing his $10 million empire. As an entrepreneur, he has multiple real estate properties, Defiance Fuel Fitness Water, a partnership with American Cut Steakhouse, and his ongoing partnership with Global Spirits brand Tequila Avion. The multi-platinum recording also, artist also has taken a executive position at Def Jam Recordings. Let's not forget Young Jeezy was instrumental to the jumpstart of Freddie Gibbs and YG's careers. Young Jeezy has come a long way settling down, married and having a baby by Jenny Mae from The View. That young guy who was making that screaming and hollering music, as his mother called it, is now motivating a nation of people that you can get it off the porch and into a boardroom. So here at Grind Gazette, we're going to tilt our top hat to Young Jeezy for having such a nice portfolio. Please continue to like and subscribe to Grind Gazette, where if you don't grind, you don't shine.